just came out of a caucus meeting where we made a decision that we would that the caucus would support me to be uh, to be the interim leader until the party selects a leader. The rest of the decisions will have to be made. But essentially, nobody's uh, saying that what we should do is to change everything now. That change process comes through the leadership process. But my job to do is to carry this government forward and complete the mandate that we have while that process is, is, is undertaken. Mr. Hancock, why do you want to do this job? We each have an obligation to serve in the best way we can. Um, I've been a, a part of this government for uh, some 17 years. Um, we've provided good government to Albertans. We have a very strong team of people who provide good government to Albertans, and we intend to continue to provide that good government to Albertans. How much do you see your role as trying to bring things back together? The unity is an issue. I, I think caucuses come together very well, and we'll continue to come together very well. Caucus understands that they have a, a job to do, and that is to provide good, solid governance, that to pass this budget, to, to deal with the issues that we have before the legislature, and that's what we're going to do. We understand that we have to uh, move forward. Uh, the Premier has provided uh, a good leadership for us, uh, uh, a real sense of vision and purpose and direction. Um, the, the party will now go forward and choose a new leader. In the, in the meantime, uh, it's our job as MLAs to continue to govern on behalf of Albertans to do the job Albertans asked us to do uh, on the, on the uh, vision and direction that we have, and we will be doing that. We will, take, we will go forward from here, we will provide good government to Albertans, we will provide stability, and uh, we will work hard to, uh, to continue to have the trust of Albertans as we move forward, and the party will uh, embark on its process to select a new leader and uh, discuss uh, the directions of, uh, for the future. I'm assuming that you're the interim leader. Uh, the party has given me the honor of leading them as the, uh, as the uh, interim leader until that uh, uh, the caucus has given me that privilege to, to lead them as we go through this government process. Is there a deputy premier? I feel humbled about that. I mean, it's, uh, uh, it's something uh, it's a real privilege to serve our caucus and our government, and it's a real privilege to serve Albertans. And uh, I recognize it's that privilege every day when I arrive at this building. And uh, this is just one more uh, role in terms of, of, of ensuring that we provide the governance as a team that we said we would provide to Albertans and we will continue to do. So what do you have a mandate to do now? You've got your Building Alberta plan, you've got different things that were initiated under Alison Redford. Now she's not here, so how do you carry on? The mandate doesn't change. It's the mandate of government. It's the mandate under which our MLAs were elected under, and that's uh, what we will continue to do until the... Uh, the party finishes its process in selecting a new leader, and then the new leader will meet with uh, with caucus to talk about the rest of the the balance of the mandate before the election. Any